Don't stop failing. Don't worry, we're not starting the next episode yet. No, we're not, um... Not until I get up there. Not until you get up there? Yeah. We're, we're not going to cold open with this? This isn't a cold open. No, it's not. Are you sure? I'm sure. I think it's a cold open. Uh, no, don't tell people I'm terrible at this game. All right. Why? That looked pretty good to me. Yeah. Welcome back to On the Branch. Yeah, welcome we're, back. We're telling high school stories. Yeah, high school. Woo! Best time of everyone's life. So, yesterday I told you about... Uh, Glenn. My, yeah. I, I think this one's a Glenn story, too. Is the, the same year. Okay, which... Oh, no, no, no. This was not Glenn. This... I don't even remember this guy's name, kid's name, you know, we were so, kids. So, let's make up a name for him. He'll be... Kevin. Kevin. We'll okay. call him Kevin, because I think his name was, like, Kyle or something like that. Oh, I want to get a research on those. Yeah. Oh, we already... Oh, because they were in the on the ship. <gasps> Wait a minute. What's this space pirate turret doing here? Yeah. Yeah, if I could ever hit it. Good luck. Uh, Okay. So, we'll, we'll call him Kevin, because I can't remember his real name. So Not Kevin. He wouldn't mind this. Uh, he was the center of the hilarity of this. Uh, we, our robot caught on fire during play. Uh, I, I forget if we were wrestling or if we accelerated too hard, uh, and we ended up I flat on our probably, back. And I would we, imagine it was probably, uh, accelerating too hard. Yeah, we did something. I'm pretty sure we screwed it up. I don't think someone knocked into us. But basically our main power cord up to our light, which was running at like 50 volts or something. I think it was 48 volts. Jeez. Um, got, got pinched between, like, the metal rigger, and anyway, so a wire got, a power wire got pinched, and, uh, the whole thing lit on fire. Uh, luckily there was another team that had what we needed, spare, or maybe we had a spare. Someone had a spare, so it didn't knock us out of the competition for the day, but, right. uh, maybe, maybe it was Kyle, but, uh, I, I guess I, I'm terrible at delivering a joke. Uh, mm-hmm. to, to preface the punchline here, which I should have done way before, way, way sooner. Um, over the PA system, you could ask the PA guy to announce something your team needed, like for trade. You know, or trade or just need to borrow or something, you know. Trading one team, wire for two batteries. Yeah, right? or just needs to borrow this tool. So it'd be like Team, team 70 needs, uh, you know, needs a screw this particular screwdriver or needs, you know, a couple of, a uh, couple of bolts a of a certain bolts, size. Yeah. Uh, I thought there was more in there. Okay. Um, anyway, so we'll call him Kevin walked up to that guy and keep in mind, there's a big monitor. You can see the competition from the work area. Mm-hmm. So everyone saw us catch on fire. It was, it was, I, it wasn't Pretty like on TV obvious. or anything, but a thousand people saw us catch on fire. Ooh, there's a, there's a secret up here. A secret? Let's see if I can time it. Good job. Once. I gotta do that twice now. Okay. So... So, yeah. Over the loudspeaker, everyone... Oh, one more. You can't screw it up. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, like a thousand people here over the intercom. Team 990 needs an oven mitt. If anyone can lend an oven mitt, please see Team 990. <laughs> Yeah. Really, an oven mitt? Yeah, he he went, f- he bought it. So, yes, it was it was the good times. We had fun. Oh, did anyone actually bring you an oven mitt? No, no. Uh, who would have an oven mitt? I don't fucking know. But what if they did? It would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are we coming here? I don't know. Because I walked into a place that had it. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, hey, the exit. I think I want to go here though. Um. Do you? Um, yeah, I think there's something I need here. I think it led me here for a good reason. Well, then let's look around. Yeah. Yeah, why would they send me here if I didn't have something to get? I think I get, like, the wave beam? Maybe the grapple beam. No, grapple beam's way later. Mm. I I don't remember. Maybe it's the heat I'm wave. just going with the flow. The game is guiding me. Yep. Uh, no, the heat beam is way later, too. Those are two of the last things you get. Ooh, this is so pretty. Shh. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. Hey, if you have trouble falling asleep tonight, look up Vendrana Drifts and just listen to this music. Or, you know, we can just start talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have trouble sleeping tonight, uh, look up Vendrana Drifts. Uh, put on some headphones, 
And just fall asleep. And fall asleep to this lovely jam. Have I uh, have I mentioned yet how much I love this this game like or the music like twenty yeah, times I so think, far? I think you've mentioned it every episode. Uh, can't be at least every recording session. Um, at least once a recording session, yeah. Yeah, but almost every episode, I'd say. Ooh, oh. Hey, is that a map area in there? I think it's a save station actually, which we need just as badly because we haven't saved in ever. Oh no, it's just lore. Yay, chose a lore. Yay. Wait, that says something about a, the door. Oh, that's... What did it say? The door above has been opened? Door directly above has been unlocked. Maybe oh, that's right. a save room. Maybe. Yeah. Or an item room. We'll find out. Um, yep. We will find out. Yeah, Ahmed, what's our timer at? Not... Um, We've um, only been playing for like five minutes on this episode, huh? Yep. Not even close. So, right. you gotta get to the door above, somehow. Um, I think yeah. I have to run all the way around the room. I was gonna say, do you have the, the runny boots yet? Uh, you don't get runny boots in any of the Metroid Prime games. Lame. Yeah, I know. They're in that other game, but... Like, that was that was so much fun in Super Metroid. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was one of the coolest things. And uh, there's just not really anywhere to put it in these games, because they're in a first person's per perspective... I guess they could have taken you third person, like, oh, I should press the jump button, not the shoot button. Maybe. <laughs> um, was this the door that it was talking yeah. about? Okay. Yeah, the door it was talking about. All right. Yeah, I, I suppose they could... Ooh, a thing. Yeah, I need to scan that. They they could do like like they do with the morph ball here and just take you third person so you can see where you're going a little better. Once you get yeah. up to that certain speed, like, hold a button. When you start using it. Yeah. Yeah, they could have gotten away with that. Ooh, I love that static effect. Well, yeah, because you're looking through a visor that has a freaking heads-up display on it. Yeah. Oh, these guys are um, bad news. I can't remember what those are. They're called Shegoths? Baby, yeah, that's baby Shegoth. Shegoth. Kill it. Oh, I am killing it. Oh, and they're Rock. only vulnerable on their backs. Mm, that's fun. Yeah, so you gotta get around them. Oh, and you're dead. Oh yeah, because mashing, uh, mashing the jump button on a Wii controller is way harder than it is to mash on a GameCube controller. Yep. All right, killed one Not baby. Dead yet? Yeah. Oh no, no. no. You just exposed. Boy, that. baby murder is tough. Right. Yeah. There Very tough. Go. All right, got them both. We did it. You we killed a baby. Aren't we proud here. of ourselves? Uh, boxes. Yay, boxes. Boxes. Woo! Hey, we should play Trine, speaking of boxes, woo. <laughs> have, have we talked about Adam regarding Trine? Oh, yeah. So our, our friend Adam, our uh, our token Jew who doesn't live with us anymore. It was me, Anik, and I believe our friend Jason, as well as Adam. We were kind of like doing like a switch off on uh, Trine. Yeah. Um, Trine is a, a three-player co-op platformer game. I would actually kind of want to play it sometime. We like should. a puzzle platformer. That'd be fun. We'd have to have, you know, three people, and yeah, that's but... that's yet another game that every other gaming channel has played. Um, um have they? Because I actually haven't seen a lot of player um play Trine. Yeah, I guess I only saw them do it on um on Steam Train is the only place I've seen it. Did they? Yeah, they played it for. I don't even. They remember. got pretty far into it too. I don't even remember. Anyway, so um, um you guys were playing Trine. We were playing Trine, and um, usually I end up taking the role of the magician. Um, Annex always the uh, the thief, and our friend Jason is usually like the warrior. And um, occasionally we were like just like passing off, and I think I took over thief for a while, and Adam a had magician. Adam was magician, and he cannot handle his boxes. No, he can't. He would just like try to solve everything in its box. It's like, no, get your stupid boxes out of here. Yeah, rant, you know, everyone would try to do a ramp or. Well, I mean, like, everyone just would tell him to do a ramp, and he'd just refuse. And he'd make a box. And it's like, no, just make a ramp. Yeah, so and he had easier. no control. Absolutely no control. Because he couldn't draw. He'd draw a straight line and somehow end up with a box. <laughs> yeah. You mean it's he like, tried to draw a straight line? Yeah. This is why he's a computer programmer and not a, an artist. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, he'd try to draw a straight line, somehow end up with a box, and then it'd be in the way. And it's like, oh my god. How did you, like, graduate second grade without being able to make a straight line? Uh, is that a thing you need to be able to do? I'm I, just going to gauntlet past these guys. I'm just going to get mean, green space alien goo all over my I, I would hope that 
you could graduate to second grade and be able to draw a straight line. But, you know, that's, uh, that's just me. Ooh, it's like a freaking rave party in here. Yeah, these are little rave do guy things. Do I don't think there are any secrets in here. I don't think so. At least not right now. I've probably missed like a dozen secrets already. Uh, that's okay. We'll have to play through this whole area. Hey, more of those baby diggies. Well, and I think uh, we're we're gonna have a similar situation to Super Metroid if you insist on hundred percent. Oh this yeah, game. we're absolutely hundred percent in this game. You gotta get the you gotta get the shot gotta with her the... without her helmet on. Yeah, I gotta get the best ending because that's the best ending on this. It one. is the best ending. No, 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 on this one, the best ending is actually her without her helmet on. Yeah, see, I told you, it's the best ending. Yeah. You know what, I can just shoot... Oh, no, for some reason I thought it hurt him to hit him in the front. Uh, I think it's because it hit one of them in the back. Uh. Um, like, you hit the front of it, and then it hit the other one in the back. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, actually, circle strafing with a lock is the one thing that's harder with these controls. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I can imagine. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh some more. more. Yeah, we'll have to spend an entire episode reading all those. Oh, do do we want to do that another time where we we have Jamie narrate every lore like like we're gonna yeah do like it. when we have it all either that or we'll have like anecdote or something I don't know maybe or you because you it. have like the sweetest dulcet voice that you hate yeah can't I jump up there no no okay you need the high jump boots yeah I need the space jump is what it's called high jump can I actually get what's in this room oh uh, I just go across there I'm trying to like get higher. Oh, okay, I do have to get higher to go up there. Yeah. Gotta explore around. Can you around. shoot that? Shoot what? Up there, back, 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 up. What? That wall? No. To the to the right, the cracked, that. No, that's branches. Oh, okay. I Ooh, can get crack. up there somehow, though. That's pretty obvious. Mm. Oh, maybe I just walk around that wall. Maybe. Yeah, we don't have to climb anywhere. And we can walk through this Is floor. this where we get boost ball? Do we get it this maybe. early? Do we have boost ball? No. Is it in here? Have you seen Boost Ball? I think this is the game I... that Boost Ball comes from. What's Boost Ball? Uh, then you probably, if you don't remember it, have you played this game before? It was a long time ago, and it was back in college, and college is kind of one of those things that's just like <laughs> You don't easy. remember it because uh, there were some things inhibiting your memory from that era? Um, well, when I turned 21, <laughs> I turned into a freaking alcoholic for like a year. Yeah. But that's a story for another time. Like you haven't told me this story. The brand. Yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it. Yeah.